Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to our test project course. And in this video, we'll be talking about managing elements and applications in test project. Alright, so let's get started. Managing elements. So this is very important to see that while the applications in our test project grows more and more, we will have all the elements located in a section called elements where we will have all the elements related to the application that we chose while creating the particular test. For instance, if you remember in our previous videos, we created the Ionic Tabs app and also we tested the YouTube as well as the YouTube new versions. So these are the different things that we created during our previous videos and we were testing our application while running the Android test. So now that if you want to manage all these elements in one place like changing the element identification property you don't really have to go through the test and then modify all the elements that we did in our previous video rather you can modify them in one single repository kind of stuff or otherwise call as the object repository or element repository in our test project where you can go through the app and then you can modify the element locator easily from just one place this is really cool and this is also very cool to see that you can reuse these elements if you want in other tests. And again, the reusability of the elements is something we'll be discussing in our upcoming videos of this course. But as of now, just be informed that there is an option where you can reuse the elements as well. And this is the place where you can manage all the elements in one single location. And then managing application is also one of the most important tasks because while we test many different applications, it's highly important that we maintain all the different applications that we have and see what are the applications that are being tested and if you want to remove some of the applications from your recorded applications you can remove that because if you remember while we were testing the ionic tabs app we uploaded the android.debug file that you can see in here from our computer so you can delete that if you want so that you don't really have to store them within your test project account so these are the things that you can do using this manage application option so let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to test project in our Chrome browser. All right, so this is my test project account and I have logged in here. And this is my project that I have, the Exit Automation project. And you can see these are the different kinds of application we tested in our previous videos of this course. And now that I'm going to manage the object repositories of these different applications that we were using while testing the applications. If I navigate into one of the tests, you can see all the different actions that we performed within an application. And also, we store all these objects within this particular test over here. So if you want to modify, you can go through the test and then you can modify. But what if the developer comes up with a new build and they say that there are some changes in these areas? You don't really have to open the test case every time and then you have to modify the elements. Rather, you can directly go to the elements over here as you can see if I click this you can see you can have all the different kinds of elements which is used within the applications so the one such example is going to be this ionic tabs app so if I click this particular folder you can see we will have all the different operations that we did during recording and if you want to edit any of the elements so you can directly click that and you can see that its name of the element is submit and its type is actually android.widget.button and it has been identified using the xpath. So you can see all of these informations just from one place. Similarly, you can manage the object repository as well. For instance, if a developer tells that there is a new element being added, so you can directly add the new elements right from here. So you can select the platform. In our case, it's going to be Android. You can hit next and then you can give the name of the element and then you can also search for the element type is it an android or widget or checkbox or a chronometer or compound buttons or frame layout or filters something like that whatever you think that it is going to be then you can add them and then you can use those elements within the test execution step that easy it is so you can manage all those elements from one location over here you can also do the search of the element if you want and you can see there are some of the controls which has no text in it so you can just click it and then you can give a name for this particular control for instance it's a view control so you can just say it's a view control something like that and then if you hit save you can see that this particular name will be reflected into your object repository over here 
So this is how you can maintain all the elements in one place in our test project. So this is more like an object repository in Catalan Studio, in QTP, or Test Complete, whatever tool that you have used before. They call this as object repository, and in test project, they call it as elements. So this is how all the elements are being saved. And the another option to manage all your applications is from here. So if you click this applications, you can see that we will have all the different kinds of applications that we tested so far. For instance, if you remember in our previous video, we used this Android debug.apk file. So if I hit this edit, you can see it has all the different options that we saw even before. So you can delete this if you want. And then you can also upload a new APK file if there is any during the course of time. If there is a new build for the Ionic Tabs app, then probably if you want to re-upload that, you can re-upload from here. So this is how you manage or maintain the application. So every time if the developer comes up with a new build, then you should go over here to the Applications tab, and then you can modify the application's APK file so that your test will run on the new build versions of the APK file. So this is where all the maintenance or management of the applications happens within this project, right? So this is also one of the most important option that you need to understand within this project. So these are the cool things that is available within test project for you guys to manage the elements and work with applications in much easier fashion. So once again, thank you very much for watching this section and meet you in our next section. Thank you.